All right guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Friday. I wasn't scheduled for DoorDash, but we got a little peak bay going here. Dash now was available, so I jumped on it. First order is a double order from Metro Diner and Krispy Kreme, and it's $16. With peak pay, if your standard is normally say six fifty, my, my market is two dollars and fifty cents base pay, so therefore they hide tips at six fifty. So I'm always looking for something at six fifty. So when you get three dollar fifty peak pay, uh, you want to add that to that amount. So I'm looking for ten dollar orders. This double order is ten dollars plus six for the other order, which that is a no tip order, but it's going to the same person. So. Therefore, you know, all the tips on the first order. It's a $16 order going about four miles. But I got a 30 something dollar Instacart. I can't remember. I think it's 32 or 36. Anyway, she added like 10 more items as I was shopping. I got down to two items left and she started just adding and adding and adding, which you kind of hate, but then you know the price is going to go up some. A lot of people in my market complain about not getting orders and they're strictly on one app. They're just on DoorDash. There's, there's a lot of orders here. They're just all, there's like majority are bad majority are horrible. Yeah, anybody doesn't multi-app. That's a must. I can see why some people want to be top dasher if they only have one app. That that may be via a viable solution to your problem is to be able to dash now anytime you want. Do this and let it just stick in your mind. Orders come in randomly. It doesn't matter what your AR is. It doesn't matter what program you're on. You just get orders. They randomly come to you. You're not getting them because you're special. You're not getting them because you're a part of this program or that program. You're not getting them especially because you're top dasher. It's the person. I don't even. I don't even believe it's the closest person to proximity of the restaurant anymore because I get offers all over Dothan, all over Dothan. I just think they just send out orders. I don't think. You know, occasionally you get them because you're close to a restaurant, but it, it's. It doesn't matter, guys. They're sending out orders, period. They're just randomly sending out orders. And until everybody gets that through their head, they're all just talking out their ass because none of these programs matter. I can't stress that enough. So I was talking to Google and I asked her what percent of people tip on food delivery apps. And she said that according to worldbuzzfinance.com, I think, I think it was, I'm not sure, I can't remember. I'm trying to go off the top of my head. 52% of people prefer to pay in cash. Who's doing this survey, dude? 46% prefer to pay on, on the app. And 2% of people don't want to tip at all. <laughs> Comment down below what you think about those stats. I think they're, I think they're garbage. Um, I think the people that don't want to tip is much higher than 2%. I don't think 52% of people want to pay the tip in cash. That, that's not true at all. I would probably venture to say they screwed up their stats and 52% don't want to tip at all and 2% want to tip cash. <laughs> hey guys, let me show you something real quick. It lives way out there. Okay. All right, let me, let me show you the number I had to find. There's, there's the mailbox. There's no number, right? Yeah, there is. I'm not supposed to see that. I mean, for real. <laughs> How am I supposed to see that? That's your number for your house. A tiny little number. That's insane. All right, guys, just dropped off a $17 order for Instacart from Sam's Club. It was five items. One of the items was missing. Uh, it didn't go down. It just stayed the same. I dropped it off. Had a great conversation with the owner, Airbnb. The cool guy. We talk sports. You can totally draw me away from anything by talking sports. I love sports. Very knowledgeable about pretty much every team in all sports. Been a sports nut since I was a kid. Like at age eight or, I don't know, probably seven or eight, somewhere in that area. Came back to the Publix area. Had an Uber Eats come in, $6 for two miles. Turned it down because of the uh, location. It was just gonna take, it was gonna take too long. So I got this Grubhub order for Buffalo Wild Wings. It's called Wild Burger. It's just a virtual restaurant. It's $15 going five miles. So I'm definitely gonna take this. This Buffalo Wild Wings is semi-fast. Uh, it has its days. <laughs> it can be really good or really bad. But we're gonna, we're gonna go for the really good because I, I can just feel it. I can just feel it in my Buffalo Wild Wing bones. Actually, I had to wait about 15 minutes because they pulled out their tablet and it had a layer of dust on it. 
I don't guess anybody uses rope hook for buffalo wild wings. <laughs> It was weird. Anyway, they told me it would be like 10, 15 minutes, and I was like, okay, I'll stay, because it was $15 for five miles. Uh, this is the place that, if you guys are familiar with my videos, and you click on popular, the video where I, I, back in the day, I took a $3 order from Panera, which was my base pay back then, for like $300. It, it, this is the same place. They actually tipped this time, but that Panera order, they, they ordered $300 worth of Panera and didn't tip. That's, that's my most popular videos. Good to see they're tipping now. Uh, that's a relief. But anyway, I got another girl. We're gonna turn that one down. That was a Hot's Deli, which can be difficult to pick up. Yeah, that's a lot of wait time there as well. Uh, $9 for six miles. Now, most of the miles would have been going back to town. It looked like the drop off was probably like actually a mile and a half or less. Hot's Deli is a hot mess sometimes. <laughs> you, could, you could be waiting for a while. I wish I got more of these Spark shopping deliveries this was 44 dollars for three miles it was about 40 items 106 units i think it was they paid 29 dollars and the person tipped 15 so it's, it's a great order and like i said i wish i wish i had more of these uh it's already 115 thinking about calling it a day uh it's you know i don't usually work on fridays but i've done really good today so that always makes it hard to go home but um especially since next week i'm not working thursday or friday because of thanksgiving holidays and I've been riding with my windows down and our area is like being, there's like all kinds of construction and dust and dirt and just flying around and piling on top of that. And I, I just, I don't, I don't feel very good on my stomach. Like, I don't know, it's just like, a, I don't know, I'm not sick. I know my wife just got over being sick, but she wasn't contagious. It's just like an allergy thing, like a sinus infection or something. Got to where I'm having trouble breathing through my nose sometimes. Like, today's all right. <laughs> But last night was rough. I don't, it's hard for me to tell when I'm sick because like my wife comes home from her mom's and she smells like smoke because her mom smokes. And I'm highly allergic to smoke and it will just close me up in a heartbeat. It's, it's really hard for me to tell when I have something going on. But going back to that shop and delivery, I'm still learning, man. Like, and uh, I haven't done too many shop and deliveries with Spark. And like, I, I just recently knew in the app, I saw the letters and stuff and I should have known that was the aisles. I figured that out. And now today I figured out like what, where the sections are located. Like it tells you where they're located. There's numbers all along the coolers and everything, the aisles. And I didn't know that. I was just winging it. So that was a lot quicker than any of my other shopping deliveries on Spark. So I feel like a knucklehead because I don't know. I didn't know these, <laughs> these things, but it's, it's kind of my fault too, because I haven't done any research at all. Like. I've watched some people's videos, but I haven't really seen anybody talk about that. Probably should have searched uh, how to how to spark or something like that. Maybe I need to make a video on that to help people out. So I don't know. I, I haven't I haven't searched, so there's probably videos out there. I know two people to get your spark information from is Dash and Grandpa and uh, Aphid Cart. Uh, those are two primary people I think will give you complete knowledge on spark. All right, guys. Well, that's gonna wrap up the day. I stopped in Publix, got me something. Saw a $25 Sam's Club for 20 something items. Going six miles. I, it's just, just not for me. That's gonna take uh, way too much time. Sam's Sam's is like a, a maze to me. Plus it was a heavy order, so they're not paying me enough to deliver a bunch of water. It could be apartments, stuff like that. I'm just not, I'm just, I'm done for the day. Almost. Okay, so, so if you left, you missed out on this one, so. Going by PetSmart to get my cat some stuff. I got a Grubhub offer, $17 for 17 miles. Hear me out. Almost like these apps know you're going home. This is actually going all the way down towards where I go. Like almost, I can't even believe I'm delivered this far. It's going to a town called Pansy, Alabama. Yeah, that's right. That's the name of a town for real, Pansy. So this is past the cutoff point of like DoorDash, uh, which is Ashford. This is actually gonna be halfway home, actually. I mean, it's just really weird. I mean, I, I was really surprised when I saw it. It's kinda like these apps know when you're headed home. I, I don't know, it's weird. I, I, I usually get a lot of these like when I decide to go home, but they knew my pattern. Like they knew when I was going home. Like it's almost the exact moment that I call it quits for the day. I'd get an order from DoorDash or anybody going that way, even Uber sometimes. But. At least this pays for most of the miles going back home and also pays for the damn cat food. <laughs> it's, um, like I say, 17 for 17 miles. It's gonna go to Sonic. I don't know my totals for the day, but I know it's pretty damn good for the time that I've worked.
Man, this is crazy, man. I need to get a laptop or a desktop or something so I can take this damn dash cam I have and, and give y'all this footage. Um, this is what I'm driving on right here. It's a split highway. We got our damn side. They got their damn side, just like most highways. All right? I'm driving along, minding my own business, and there's somebody in the passing lane coming towards me. I laid down on my horn and she hit the brakes because there was a semi not too far behind me in that lane. I bet that scared the shit out of her. But people, I don't know, what what happens to, that you do that? What, what happens? <laughs> How do you get so screwed in the brain that you're on the wrong side of the road? You're going the opposite direction. <laughs> it actually happens a lot on Highway 84 going back to my home area. I hear people tell me about it all the time, but I've never actually seen it, so that was kind of scary. <laughs> There's honestly so much footage that I could be sharing with you guys if I had a desktop or a working laptop. Uh, like, I know if you've been watching my channel a while, I was sitting there watching Instacart on my phone one time, and a Home Depot shopping cart just, I guess it got windy and just slammed into my car. It scared the shit out of me. <laughs> also, I've had I've, I've been completely stopped because there was a guy walking in the road and it was like in a, in a parking lot and he literally was looking at his phone so hard that he walked into my car. Now I'm surprised he didn't just fall out on the hood and try to get insurance and all that shit. You see videos like that all the time. But uh, yeah, I've had some weird stuff happen. All right guys, it's been a great week. You can see I did 45 deliveries, drove 264 miles. And I made seven hundred and ninety dollars and seventeen cents in in twenty eight point eight hours, which is twenty seven dollars an hour. Spark has been a game changer. Tomorrow I have fifteen dollars of unconfirmed tips coming in, which is basically the delivery I made today. And also the incentive will end, so I should have two hundred ten dollars credited into my account. That money is not added into this, so that's a hundred hundred twenty five dollars not counted towards my total. That will actually put me over $900 for the week, which I'm ecstatic about. I can't tell you the last time I made $900 in a week. Pretty impressive. It sure has a lot to do with Spark and the fact that Thanksgiving is coming up. Probably both of those factor in. Also, YouTube pays me this week. So it's going to be a $1,000 week for me, over $1,000. I'm just really excited about it. Really couldn't have come at a better time. Like I say, next week I'll be working Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday only because uh, the holidays I'm going to take off with the family. And we know I don't work weekends, so I'll be expecting that content. <laughs> like ever. <laughs> For you guys that like numbers like I do, you can see here Spark was 50% of everything we did this week. Instacart was 21%. And then as you see there, Uber Eats 8%, DoorDash 7%, and then you got a couple 1%s in there. And let's not forget Grubhub, shockingly 12% of my income. Grubhub hardly ever has anything worth taking. A lot of people wouldn't have taken that order I just took, 17 for 17 miles. But you have to know the situation and where it's going. I mean, it's going right back towards my house. All right, guys, once again, appreciate you checking out my channel. If you're new, please subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of this content. And to all you guys that have been with me from day one, you just don't know how much I appreciate you. I'll talk to you guys in the comments, and we'll see you later. Bye. Fifty on the five sticky, come get high with me. That's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me. You can slide with me if you feel like five fifty on the five sticky, come get high with me. That's a deal, right?